Okay, welcome back my fellow machine learners. We're continuing with our series of videos on logistic regression. And just as a quick recap, if you recall, um, if we have a data set that has a binary classification, meaning your output is either a zero or a one. So let's look at a basic example of as we vary our X input, um, say now there's a a bunch of examples there where you're, you we have a zero output and then as we vary the x input say larger we get um, a bunch of examples where there's a one okay and what we saw before was that using linear regression say a straight line to model this won't necessarily work and you can go look at the previous videos for that so what did we want is we wanted a model that closely kind of hugged the data so that if we um, we wanted a model so that if you if the actual output is a zero then the model will predict a zero as close as possible and if the actual output is a one then our model will predict a one as close as possible or it'll predict as close as possible to one and so we saw that we can use a probability function called the sigmoid, which looks something like this, one plus e to the minus beta zero plus beta one x, okay? So, uh, <clears throat> say now we have a very simple data set of x's and y's. Say now we've got x1, x2, x3, for example, and then our output this is our actual training data. This is actual, the, perhaps, you know, to these, this data set that we're looking at here. So now the first one is a one, second one is a zero, third one is a one, for example. So our examples, whether it's a student passing or failing, or whether it's a person that has a cancerous tumor or not, it is either a one or a zero, okay? So this is our actual training data. And what we want is, we can choose this kind of model that predicts a probability, remember, a probability between zero and one, right? So this is a probability function. We put in our known X's, these are our actual data, and we, remember the idea behind machine learning is often to find uh, parameters, as you vary these beta parameters, this probability function the sigmoid function varies right so you could possibly vary this these betas so that you could have a straight line or a line that looks like that or a line that looks like not a line a curve right so these beta values they change this line they vary it okay so the the goal then is just like in the previous linear regression um, theory is we want to know which beta values, which parameters would allow this line, this curve, the sigmoid to best fit the data. So I just want to remind you, remember one, we want a model. Number two, we're looking for a cost function. And number three, we're looking for an algorithm that finds the, the best parameters. So for linear regression, remember it looked like this, y equals beta zero plus beta one x, right? That's the model. And remember the cost function looked something like this, j is uh, say one over n to the sum of i equals one to n y actual i minus y predicted i squared. Remember, that was the cost function for linear regression. And the algorithms that we used were either um, gradient descent, gradient descent, or uh, we used we used the normal equations to do what? We what was our, what is our algorithm doing? Remember inside here, inside here is beta zero plus beta one x. That's what this y y i is, and so our cost function just simply tells us. Um, by putting in these parameters, what is it going to, 
what, what is the difference? The residual squared, right? And so we're trying to vary the beta parameters so that we minimize our cost function. And the way to minimize the cost function is either, either through gradient descent or the normal equations. So now, what about logistic regression? What is the model? What is our model for logistic regression? It's this. That's our model. Okay? It's the sigmoid. What is our cost function? It is, we want to use the likelihood function, which we'll get into hopefully in this video. And how do we solve for the, the best parameters in our likelihood function? Well, you can use gradient descent, but a, a more common method is to use Newton's method. Newton's method. Remember, what are these algorithms doing? They are trying to find the beta parameters or our parameters so that the our function, our model best fits the actual data. Okay, so what's your model? What's your cost function? And what's your algorithm? Model, cost function and algorithm. All right. Okay, so in so what we're trying to do now is now that we've seen what our model is and we've seen that we need to use our likelihood function well uh, we'll get into probably in the next video um, so that likelihood function looks something like this it's l of beta is equal to pi i equals one to n probability of xi, and I don't know why that just vanished in front of my eyes, xi to the power of yi, 1 minus the probability of xi to the power of 1 minus yi. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video here and carry on in the next one. But this is where we're going to leave off. This is the cost function, you can even call it j, this is the cost function that is going to allow us to find the best beta parameters. And we use this by maximizing this likelihood function, which is called maximum likelihood. Okay, we'll continue in the next video.